Hey, my name is Corbin Brown and welcome to the course on social media management when it comes to specifically with ChatGBT and Zapier. If you look below me, you're going to see a table of contents at the beginning of every single one of these lessons. You're going to see a table of contents so you can kind of get an idea before we dive into here essentially what is going to happen within that lesson. If you continue to look down below that in the description, you'll be able to see resource links throughout every single lesson, which will either be Zapier's for free to use or prompts that are used in the lessons themselves. So you're going to be able to download these resources as well. It's going to be a great time just to read the description. Make sure you're not missing anything as there will be a bunch of resources resources packed in there but without further ado welcome to the course we're going to be going over a lot here but for this first lesson i kind of want to go over the overview of what you're going to be learning in this entire course as it is very exciting with new technology coming out and the power that chat gbt has when it has the ability to affect social media management now the first thing we're going to be looking at in this course is going to be at content creation. As we see down there, this is one of my videos from another course that I do, which is Mastering Chat GBT. And if you're interested in that, you can go check that out. It goes through a whole process of understanding how to master Zapier and Chat GBT in other niches and other realms. But what we're going to be doing in this course is one of the lessons we're going to be really focusing on content creation specifically, you know, not with AI being infused with it, but rather, you know, a video like this. But using AI to then you uh, edit the video automatically uh, connecting the different APIs and you know really making it automatic so in theory we would be able to take that video file put it in a Google Drive folder and then automatically have it have captions put on have it have AI specific you know uh, editing done to the actual video itself. So maybe you want a header down here that's very specific to the video content itself. Maybe you want to have it so that when the file is put into this drive folder, it will automatically give a YouTube title, it automatically give you give a YouTube description, so on and so forth. That is going to be one of these stages in this overall course is going to be content creation. The next thing we're going to be looking at through this course is going to be AI image creation. You may be familiar with this with mid journey or dial a two. Essentially, we're going to be looking at the ways in which we can use that to our advantage and leverage it for our social media management, whether that be using effective prompts to get the type of images we want to be generated through AI or using these type of images to further bolster different social media strategies we may have. Now in the context of right below, that is going to be a little nice coffee cup. Uh, this is done through Web Cafe, which you're probably familiar with, which is the uh, which I'm an account manager a part of. And essentially, this is going to be part of our NFT project, uh, which is essentially, you know, the prompts coffee. And we're going to be looking throughout this course as well, basically how to structure prompts that are specifically going to give you the type of output of the image you want if you choose to use AI images in your social media management. Now, the final step for the type of content we're going to be looking at here is going to be AI video content. So this comes in a realm of things. Uh, first, as you see in the screen right there is going to be an actual uh, video of a person lip syncing uh, audio over a specific context. Uh, and this is really, really crazy stuff here. So not only are we going to be able to input artificial intelligence for the actual script of the video, but the actual video itself, we're going to be able to edit and mess around with, with different variables. So maybe we want to change the text on the screen. Maybe we want to change the image on the screen. Maybe we want to change the position on the screen. There's going to be a bunch of stuff we're going to be able to do. So long term, we can set up automatic videos that are pushing our content and our brand without us even lifting a finger and having it each video be its own unique type of video. So it doesn't seem regurgitated on your part when handling social media scheduling. Now, obviously, the most important part of this course, which is going to be ChatGBT and Zapier. Uh, ChatGBT, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with, is going to be the main AI we're going to be used for text based AI, which is going to be essentially the idea of, you know, entering in a prompt and getting a human like response. But we're going to be able to structure it really smart here. We're going to be able to do different props that prompts that, you know, set up ChatGBT to be a social media expert. Maybe we want to set up ChatGBT to be a caption expert and generate a lot of specific types of captions that are unique and tailored to our brand. Or maybe we want to use ChatGBT to become a hashtag tag and keyword expert and therefore have a lot a keyword list that is automatically not only outputted through chat gbt but maybe sent to a doc maybe sent to a slack channel maybe sent to an email so on and so forth we're going to connect all this data and we're going to be doing that through zapier which is a nice little tool that essentially connects data between different apps 
And what's great about Zapier is it's going to be free to use. So you're going to be able to sign up and, you know, be able to use this for free as you go along with the course. And it's going to be a great tool to use for long term and scaling wise when you don't really necessarily want to have to always input on ChatGPT and let Zapier do the heavy lifting. What's great about this course is we're going to go over a ton of automations. We're going to go over a ton of chat GBT prompts. You're going to learn a bunch of stuff and you're going to be better suited to handling your social media management. Now, through this course, we're going to go through the entire process of building a social media schedule through keyword hashtag, hashtag research through chat GBT, through generating niche specific captions with chat GBT and really exciting stuff here, building an automated and command posting uh, social media schedule. Now you might be saying, Corbin, why would I not just want it to be automatic? Why would you have a command version there? Well, that is specific use cases. Maybe you want to use a command prompt uh, in the sense of, you know, we want to make a specific type of video, but we don't want to always post it every week, but maybe we want a one-off video every quarter. You're going to be, I'm going to be able to show you a command prompt where essentially, you know, you insert a couple things and then it shoots out a video or shoots out an image or shoots out a post or shoots out, you know, a bunch of captions. We're going to learn how to do command prompting, which is really exciting. A lot of, a lot of ability to control that. And even more exciting, we're going to be able to learn how to do automatic posting when it comes to social media management, AI. I mean, this is really crazy stuff here. We have gone leaps and bounds where it used to be with social media management. Now, not only are you going to be able to get, um, niche tailored captions automatic you're going to get niche tailored hashtags automatic you're going to get images that are tailored to your brand specifically to increase engagement and conversion you know a whole bunch of stuff we're going to really leverage ai here to make sure that the way you approach your social media planning is as optimized as possible oh and over here what you'll notice is a cup of coffee so throughout this course if you need to take a break Take a drink of coffee. I know I will as we're going to be going over a ton of stuff. So make sure you take notes, whether that's Google Docs, maybe you're using Notion, whatever you use. We're going to go through over a bunch of stuff. And if you ever feel like you're getting rusty or you don't know what's going on, rewatch one of the lessons. I'll always be here and we can go over a ton of stuff. But overall, that is going to be a look at our social media management and what we're going to get into in this course. So you finished the first lesson of this course and I am excited for you to begin your journey here. What you'll learn at the end of this course is going to be a ton of stuff. You're going to save a bunch of time. Now, just to give a little backstory, I used to do a lot of social media management uh, for another company that I used to work for. And I remember the issues and the barriers I had to go through where, you know, if you wanted to set up a social media calendar for a quarter for a company, there would be, you know, research involved for the, the captions, research involved for the, the hashtags, research involved of, you know, best posting times, research involved for, you know, how do we want to approach it? What type of content? do we want to post you know so on and so forth what's great is now that we have ai we're going to be able to mitigate that time drastically so by the end of this course you're really going to be able to leverage your ability to make effective social media posting schedules that are going to be great for scaling your brand